you know, they said, hey, this is this wonderful device, you know, that you guys should try. And so we all started just doing a couple cases, you know, and then, you know, eventually we just really took off with using the motion appliance. How, how long was that? I would say it took me about three years. I want to make sure I'm, you know, getting the case done correctly every single time. Okay. And that motion appliance basically was the thing that helped me got there. So I'm like, okay, here's a new widget that supposedly is going to help me fix this. So, I mean, I'll give it a try. What well, the problem was is I, I didn't have the training behind it. Then you fast forward another seven, eight years, and I'm watching Luis Carrier show his cases. And I was dumbfounded. And I, I literally called my wife. I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing this. I, I, I'm not getting these results. So for me, it was, it was one of those juxtapositions. Okay, here's where I'm at today with Herbst and you know, every other class two corrector on the market, you know, trying to find something and none of them are working. You know, my next hurdle I had to overcome when I implemented it was, you know, having it mentally be my go-to appliance because I was seeing the effective outcomes. And that's the other thing is like, you know, I've, I've got cases coming back in three months, they're corrected. And, and, you know, at first you're looking at it going, no, like it, it's, not possible. it's like doubting Thomas, you <laughs> right. know, there's just no way this is occurring. But then it, it starts to happen and we become hyper treatment time conscious because our consumers are demanding right. it. And that's one of the things I love about the motion appliance is that if it does break, A, it's not an emergency. You know, I mean, at worst, you just meet him at the office for two minutes and just remove the appliance and then you'll just rebond it in the next week. I am much more comfortable today being definitive with parents and saying, you know, little Susie is not wearing her rubber bands or little Johnny's not wearing his rubber bands. We need to, you know, we need to either find time for them to wear rubber bands more or we need to talk about what goals we can and cannot achieve. How did you, how did you achieve that tipping point in your practice to where it did become your, your only AP correction appliance? Yeah, I think it's. I mean, I think it became somewhat gradual. I mean, you know, but, but as those cases that were of my forces that were finishing, you know, same with going right. back to your team, your team going, please, can we not use those anymore? Yeah. I mean, I'm very team driven. Like I, yeah. I mean, I want my team to almost tell me what works. You know, they're the ones that are discussing it. You know, placing them. You know, they were a strong driver in that too. And, and said, this device is amazing. Like right. it's easy to place. Um, it's easy to remove. I mean, it's much easier than the force of springs. The funny thing was, is my staff literally pulled me aside and said, we don't want you to do any more Herbst appliances. I'm listening to my staff and I'm not, we're not doing any more Herbst appliances. So, so now as a result, it is my go-to appliance. You know, it's the, it is the number one appliance we think of in the consult room and it is the number one appliance that we, that we do all AP correction on now. I love that I can, that my team, and you talk about your team, is that I want, I would almost like to not be there, and they would know exactly what I would do and how I would do it in, this, in the exact steps that I wanted, and with a, to me, with using the motion appliance, you know, so they're almost coming to me, telling me what the treatment plan is, and then it makes it easier, too, to start converting to these TC-only exams, because yep. if I can educate them why the appliance is so wonderful, you know, and they can show them the outcome. So they're, they're already educating before you even walk in the room. Correct. And, and now in my, in my treatment room, I mean, they're basically, we have motion sitting out on the, the type and I mean, they're already showing them the appliance before I even come in. Yep. And then I, my job is to walk in and go, okay, we're in, I always say, we're in this together. You know what I mean? I, I need your help and you need my help. And so we're in this together. And, you know, your job is to wear the rubber bands and it's my job to deliver you a result. Yep. You know, and, you know, the kids get it. You know, you give your patient an expectation and you just say, this is what I expect of you if we start. The class three component of it was an absolute no brainer. Because we don't, we never, we don't really have a great class three tool yeah. other than extractions, IPR, or surgery. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, once you get outside of that box, there's there's a couple of widgets out there, but nothing that is effect is as effective as the motion. I'm now starting to get a little bit of a reputation in my community as where you can go for non-surgical class, class three correction. Three, yep. So now yeah. I'm getting referrals. I mean, I'm even getting referrals from my surgeons. You know, because people go to the surgeon for a consult and they go, I don't want surgery, and so now they're. Getting getting referred to me to, and they say, oh, this is the best person. She, you know, she has a device that can help you this. to do this non-surgically. Right. If, if, if there's anyone that's going to do it, she's going to do it with this device. Right. Even things about extractions. He's talking about those complex, difficult, difficult kids that, do, you know, stayed in treatment time for a very long time. You know, you're getting to the end. I mean, it's th you're three years in braces and the mom's like begging you to take them off, you know, and to me, I mean, I would say I take out 80% less by cuspids, you know, than yeah. I did, you know, before I started using the motion appliance. I haven't done an extraction case yeah. in 
in three years. Now, I, I hadn't even thought about it. I think it's a, it's a great adjunct uh, approach to what, you know, to traditional therapy. Mm-hmm. We can do this. Mm-hmm. We just have to learn the, you know, and it's like anything, you, you know, you implement it and it, you're never perfect the first time. You know, I mean, why would we expect you to be perfect the first time? Mm-hmm. So, but you don't get better without doing more. Correct. And once we did it, I mean, we were off to the races. I look at my practice today and where we're at, and what happens is, is the practice, the patients that are difficult to treat get far more attention today, mm-hmm. you know, because we're all busy in some way, shape, or form, and you only have so much time per patient. And that's what I love about the motion system and sagittal first approach is that you do have the ability to treat more patients more effectively and give attention that's necessary to patients that are harder. To, you know, those difficult cases that require your attention. Um, and that wouldn't exist without, without Sagittal First. Okay.